What you are looking at here might very well be the most cursed team in the entire NBA, maybe the most cursed team in the history of any professional sports league. I present to you the Kardashian squad. This is not an original concept by any means. I'm sure hundreds, if not thousands of other creators have made similar videos in like my team or even my league, my NBA, whatever. But this is sort of my variation of it. I have a full 10 man roster and then the rest I made 62 so they wouldn't start. But I have a full 10 man roster. I turned off injuries. It's obviously not the primes of a lot of these guys. Like this isn't prime Chris Paul. This isn't going to be prime James Harden. This isn't going to be prime Blake Griffin because I do want it to be relatively realistic. And I also have it on the Clippers which is one of the most cursed franchises in all the sports as well. So enough talking, let's introduce you to the squad. At point guard, we have Chris Paul, who we only learned recently has been affected, potentially, allegedly, by the Kardashian curse. Devin Booker, we all know his history. Lamar Odom. Who was on crack? <laughs> Kyle Kuzma, his eyes scare me, but we all know about his past. Trist, oh, Tristan Thompson, we all know about yours. This might be prime Tristan Thompson because I did get him from the all-time Cavs roster. James Harden, we know about. D'Lo is alleged. Uh, it's not, you know, not confirmed or anything like that. Jordan Clarkson, Ben Simmons, confirmed. Blake Griffin, confirmed. I'm going to say him one season and we're gonna see how this goes. I do expect them to have a pretty high seed in the West and I turned off injuries so no one gets hurt. But when it comes to playoff time, I really do not think it's gonna, oh my God, look at that profit margin. Oh my God. Well, I would hope the fan interest is super high like that, but Jesus Christ, I am so, I am so fucked financially. Let's just sim to the end of the year. Uh, if anything happens throughout, yeah, I guess I'll say it. Sure, Moses Brown. Sure, diabetes. I think the lack of defense on this team is kind of why we are not doing great at the moment. They're gaining some momentum. They're 36 and 17. They were they were like 17 and 11 not too long ago. Okay, so we are at the All-Star break. We are first in the conference by a good three games. Anyone in the MVP race? No, anyone in Harden's six man. Uh, that is nothing new to him. Anyone make any All-Star games? Uh, I don't think so, at least not on Team Giannis. Harden made the All-Star game, and he's a six man, so that's cool. I'm going to look at who's doing what on our team, like who's performing and who's not. What the fuck is this? Okay, there we go. There we go. So Booker's leading, then it's Harden, then Kuzma, then Chris Paul, who's averaging like almost 10 assists a game. Lamar's a little inefficient. D'Lo, super in inefficient. How's Blake doing? I'm a little curious. He's averaging two points a game in eight minutes. 38%. He's barely playing and he's shooting under 40. So I did make some changes to the rosters. I put Paul George on the Sixers for Harden. Honestly, I forgot. So I'm only going to show you all the high profile moves. I'm not 100% sure where a lot of these guys went. I made this roster at like four in the morning when I was super bored. I I guess I put Zubak on the Jazz. I'm also just curious to see where Kawhi ended up. Um, Where is Kawhi? Did he die? I turned off injury. Okay, I put him on the Wizards. That's right. So yeah, Kawhi's on the Wizards. That's pretty much the only like high profile one that I can kind of think of right now. Luka wins MVP. Paulo wins rookie of the year Harden wins six man oh my god he shot 59% from the field 48% from three has he even sniffed 50% from the field in his career no he has not that's insane that's actually so insane uh we are the two seed I'm gonna simulate the play and we're playing we're facing Denver in the first round I'm just simulating through game one because I want to see like who ends up winning and we destroyed them in the fourth quarter let's go I say we because I really had a huge hand in this game two we pick up the win. Game three, we're in Denver, and we lose one there. We lose another one. No way. Okay, I'm just going to sim here. Okay, and it looks like we're going to win here. Yep, and we move on to the semis. But we're playing We're playing Golden State. I think it might be Jover for us. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something with this roster. I didn't put Ben Simmons to power forward like I was going to. Let me fix that. Damn, my fault. I'll make a secondary point guard, but I forgot I was going to put him to power forward at the start of this. Completely forgot. So game one, pick up the win. Or I'm sorry, game one, we lost. Game two, we win. Game three, they win. Oh my God. Yeah, we're not coming back. This is typical Clippers too. This is typical Clippers. Get knocked out in the second round. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it's so over. It's so over. And I didn't expect it any other way. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, no, we lost. Yeah, I did not expect to go any other way. We lose in five in the second round. Who ends up winning? Okay, I hate that. Lonzo won Eastern Conference MVP. That's kind of crazy. And the Bulls win the NBA championship. Okay, well, yeah, again, typical Clipper fashion, get knocked out in the second round. They're never going to sniff a conference finals again. But yeah, that's it for me, though. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you all in the next video, whatever that ends up being. Peace out.